Welcome to Honors Geometry section 9.1, Translations. And we'll get right at it. Okay? Translations falls under the over encompassing uh, word transformations. What is a transformation, you ask? Well, I'll go ahead and tell you right now. So go ahead and uh, well, I'll read it as you write it and then go ahead and pause after I'm done reading. Transformations are mappings of a figure onto an image. The original is called the pre-image and in the book the pre-image is usually blue and the image is red. So go ahead and write that down. In this chapter we will talk about translations, reflections, rotations, and dilations. And then we may even do composite functions, which are a combination of one or more of the following. Okay, the first one that we're going to talk about are translations. Okay, translations are transformations that slide a pre-image onto an image. That's what a translation is. So I'll go ahead and pause, write that down. Uh, we will talk about reflections, rotations, dilations later on. Right now, we'll talk about translations. Okay. Here we have the original, the uh, pre-image, triangle ABC. And it has been translated to a new position. And where has it been uh, moved to? triangle ABC is slid um, three spaces right and two spaces Okay, so always give the left or right movement first, then the up or down movement, because the left right movement is an X movement along the X axis, and the up or down movement is a Y movement along the Y axis. So X comes before Y, so we will describe in words first left or right, then up or down. Okay, in coordinate notation, we're going to start out with a point XY, and it's going to be slid, so we we're going to write an arrow for a slide, and then we're going to write, well, it went to the right, so X plus 3, and it went up to Y plus 2. And then in vector notation, we're going to use what are called hard parentheses. And we're just going to write the movement. 3, 2. And that's the vector notation of a translation. Now, I want to give you a couple more examples to see how these are changed as uh, the triangle uh, might be... Uh, slid in a different direction. So let me get that ready for you. Okay, I've changed the position of triangle uh, A prime, B prime, C prime. Yes, those apostrophes are actually, we'll uh, say those as primes. Okay, triangle ABC has been slid to what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So in words, triangle ABC is slid eight spaces to the left. You don't have to tell me up or down because there is no up or down. So let's go ahead and erase this. And we'll write some new stuff. Triangle ABC is slid 
eight spaces left to triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. In coordinate notation, that point again, X, Y, whoops, X, Y has been translated to x minus 8. The y values didn't change, so it stays at y. So if you move to the left, it becomes a negative here, because left is negative right. And vector notation, negative 8 and 0. Didn't go up or down. So then, of course, if you the triangle were moved like this it would be to the right and then it would be down so it would be some spaces to the right and some spaces down five to the right and three down and your uh, coordinate notation xy is paired with x plus five because it went to the right and y minus 3 because it went down 3 and your vector notation would be um, 5 negative 3 in hard parentheses and that will conclude lesson 9.1 translations